First, from Bodmin Community College, Roadblock. Weighing in at 82 and a half kilograms and over 1.45 meters long, all the signs suggest that this is a robot to be reckoned with, carrying a deadly circular saw. On now, though, with the first discipline. This is the gauntlet, and you can run it almost any way you like. It's up to each robot here to choose which route is the best according to their robot's hidden talents. First of all, though, they have to get off this spinning carousel. Then, do they choose on my right, this maze? But you have to have an awful lot of maneuverability to get round it. Or a seemingly dead space on my left. It's not. It's guarded by the horrible Sergeant Bash. The middle route is the ramp route, but not every robot can get up on and off these ramps. And then there are the corkscrew lances, just one of many hidden surprises that can leap out at you if you're unaware. To my right, spikes come up from underneath the floor of the arena. You don't want to be impaled on those. And if you did survive on my left to scorching by Sergeant Bash, there's still dead metal who can clamp hold of you. And the might of Matilda waiting. Well, there's one more surprise here in the shape of the pendulum. It it could knock you sideways and send your time rocketing. Now, roboteers, be prepared to amuse and impress us, but be prepared also to be humiliated. Roboteers, stand by. A-level students, Hender Blewett and Chris Kinsey from Bodmin, attempt the gauntlet for the first time ever. Our main feature is at the front, where we can push with some force, and we hope to create some serious damage later on with our main weapon at the back. Three, two, one, activate. For the first time in the history of Robot Wars, the gauntlet is run. And out comes Roadblock. He does not want to be torched. In goes Matilda. Dead Metal is beaten. It's big Chris Kinsey, the tall blonde lad. And this is a good run here by Roadblock. And that's very fast. There was a moment there, guys, I thought you weren't going to get off the turntable. Did that go through your minds? Well, yeah, we were having a bit of trouble getting it straight off. Our main plan was to go over that bridge, actually. As we were steering onto it, we found a gap and went for it. What were you operating? So you operated the saw. Did you get anyone? Afraid not. We just were too damn quick. <laughs> very well done. That's a good win. They were quick, they set the standard, first to run, first on the leaderboard. Now I've seen sumo wrestling and basically it's just two fat blokes in pants leaning on each other. But robot sumo is different because of course robots don't wear pants. What happens here is that each of our five surviving robots is brought onto this raised plinth in turn where they will do battle with our most powerful house robot. He's called Shunt. If he were a car, he'd be a tank. Yes, all right, we're very impressed. Stop it. Sit still. Thank you. Now, the roboteer that lasts the shortest time is history. Well, Shogun's ready, and he's ready, and I'm in the middle. Bye. Robot ears, stand by. Three, two, one, activate. I think that 200-yard sign wedge on the front could be crucial here to scoop up and under shunt. Good driving at the moment from Hender Blewett and Chris Kinsey, who built Roadblock as an A-level project down in Bodmin. And they're using the 24-volt electric engines well here. That's a little bit like a... A ball fighting matador contest out there. They're already through safely with a good time. Oh, look at this! Shunt's gone! And death by glory! They've gone too! Well, unbelievable. We don't know what the rules say. The rules say you won. Excellent. <laughs> the rules say you flew, you got him out within the minute. That must be incredibly nerve wracking. Terrible, terrible. I can't believe it. But he made the mistake. Yep, and we took advantage of it. Honestly, a brilliant show. Brilliant. Well done. And they're through, but the fact they went out of the circle right at the end, they're second to Killatron. Now, all they've got to do, really, is just bash their opponents into several small pieces within a specified time. But if there is no clear winner, a decision will be made by our panel of adjudicators using four criteria. Damage, aggression, 
style and control. On the left, we have Eric Dickinson, the only British veteran of robot wars in America. In the centre, there's Professor Noel Sharkey, who's head of robotics at Sheffield University. And on the right, there's Adam Harper, who is holder of the land speed record for electric vehicles. The man did 150 miles an hour in a Sinclair C5. The man is certifiable, but he's not as certifiable as our opponents who will now indulge in the first semi-final. Robot ears, stand by. Three, two, one. Roadblock and Nemesis not only need to avoid each other, but our own house robots in their patrol areas go in there and you're in trouble. The boys from Dublin will use the spikes and the hydraulic prong. And Roadblock will use that saw, activated by Hender Blewett. And Roadblock could choke on a furball. Nemesis being ripped to shreds at this moment in time. They need to get away from that saw. Oh, that could be a mistake by Roadblock. It's gone in with Matilda and the spikes, and it's impaled on the spikes. Matilda's saw and that vicious tail. This could be a tail of two saws. Roadblock away. Now attacks Nemesis again. Gets underneath. The Nemesis boys all want to go into space, and they're in the air. They're in the air, and they're on fire. Get the fire brigade. Aye, aye, you're in trouble. Nemesis is on fire. It could all be over for Nemesis shortly now! Well, as you can see, the soft furnishings are on fire. Fire extinguishers have been brought out. So, pretty obviously, Roadblock is the winner! That was fantastic! Absolutely brilliant. Well done. How did it feel out there? We absolutely loved it. It's gone from an armchair to a three-piece suite. <laughs> well done. Congratulations. He's not even gone. I left. It's only cosmetic. He'll be back to fight again another day. Robot ears, stand by. Three, two, one. Killatron against the battle scarred roadblock. The pickaxe against the circular saw, and the pickaxe gets in first. The old polka dots of Nemesis on roadblock, a distant memory. But that scoop so important again, getting in underneath Killatron. And the Trojan team befuddled at the news, and in comes the sergeant with the torch. The roadblock boys controlling this final of the moment. Kinetron's on the run! It's piggyback time! They're in and underneath Kinetron! It's only a question of time! They know it! Kinetron will be in for the big, big flip! They're gonna flip him! No! It's all over! Roadblock the winner! The winner is Roadblock! Yes, come up here, guys! Leaping about in a sort of football-type way. They enjoy that. I loved every second of it. But particularly the second when it fell over, yeah? That's what we were looking for all day. What about you? We just couldn't wait to take them out. They've been, they've been cocky in the pits and now they're, they're over. They're, they're upside down. You're through to the big grand final. Congratulations. This is what the whole series has been leading up to. An orgy, a six-way orgy of death and destruction. And into the final from Heat 1, Roadblock diverting all opponents to take the glory road. From Heat 2, Recyclops with the extending tongue licking all opponents. From Heat 3, the brute force of Robot the Bruce. And our featherweight pretender cunning plan speeding to victory in Heat 4. Next, the copper colored coal scuttle working out the maze in Heat 5. And they're all joined by tonight's winner, the not so ladylike Tracy. Six of them are going into the arena now for the very last time and the excitement here in the pits is intense. We cannot wait to watch it. There'll be crowds around the monitor. We're going to enjoy this just as much as you are. And here we are, Philippa. The final of Robot Wars. Robot ears, stand by. There they are, the drivers.
of Roadblock with its scoop front and Body Hammer, the Cold Fusion team, and Rex Garrod on the right, driver of Recyclops with the extending turn. There's cunning plan from the University of Reading. Three, two, and Robot the Bruce and one. Tracy from tonight. Activate. And this for the title, the first ever UK Robot Wars champion. Aggressive style already, especially from Tracy spiking Recyclops, and that allows Roadblock to come in underneath. There's the extended tongue, but Recyclops can't flip Tracy over at this moment in time. Tracy comes back, there's Body Hammer in the spotlight briefly, and running away, cunning plan! Needs to get back into the action, and be aggressive, and it is there, because the judges will mark for aggression, and Tracy's up on cunning plan, and both of them are out, immobilized! Four left, Body Hammer, and Recyclops, and Robert the Bruce there to the left-hand side, and the dangerous Roadblock, who's persisting in this attack, on Recyclops, the most dangerous attacking robot otherwise in the field, but up on its side, Recyclops. Down it comes, the turn takes a fearful bashing. Roadblock still pressurizing. A body hammer thrusts into Robot the Bruce. Recyclops on its side. Not yet down. Robot the Bruce trying to get involved. Rex Garrard needs to get his tongue back in in every sense of the word. Recyclops off the picture. There's the chain off Recyclops! And then attacking by Roadblock has paid off. Recyclops is out. They're down to three. Body hammer. Roadblock behind it. And there's Roadblock the Bruce up on his side and goes as well. And that leaves two. The Roadblock team of students from Bodmin against the team of nuclear engineers and Body Hammer. Here's Roadblock closing in on the far more experienced engineering team. Getting in underneath. It's over. It goes to the judges. And the arena on its feet. A standing ovation. Well, I think that calls for a judge's decision. And while we await it, let's have a look at some of the action from that Battle Royal. These, the six, bidding to become the champions of the first series of Robot Wars. Recyclops, attacked by Roadblock. Roadblock in the thick of things again as Tracy takes out Cunning Plan and goes out herself. Roadblock then attacking Recyclops and Robot the Bruce. Just about anyone had a go at Recyclops. Especially Roadblock. And Recyclops, the chain came off in the end. Leaving three, and Roadblock putting out Robot the Bruce after a suicidal charge. And my money's on Roadblock, but let's see what the judges have to say. All right, quiet down, everybody. Quiet down. We have a decision. A unanimous one from the judges that the winner, the British Robot Wars champion, Series 1, is Roadblock! You did it, guys! You did it! There it is, the trophy. A very, very well earned one, if I may be so bold. What was that like? Best time of my life. Absolutely loved it. It really was absolutely breathtaking. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being absolutely magnificent winners, champions, and thank you, everyone at home, for watching. Good night.